In this lesson, we will look at different types of binary trees. The first one is full binary tree. And all of these uh, have similar names, so that's why they are confusing. Full binary tree means, it does not mean that it will be full and all the levels will be full. We have some another name for that. So full binary tree means every node has zero or two children, not one children. For example, if you see the first tree, here we have three levels and all the levels are completely filled. So all of these nodes also have two or zero children. All the leaves will have zero children. All the internal nodes will have two children. Similarly here, it does not look very full, but still it's a full binary tree because all the nodes have two or zero children. So one has two, three has zero. None of the nodes have one children. So this is also correct. This is also correct. But let's say I remove this. Now this is not a full binary tree because this one has just one node. So in order to make it full, you have to add one more node. Now next is complete binary tree. So it's similar in some sense, but also different in some sense to full binary tree. So all levels are completely filled, except possibly the last level. So if you see at earlier example, this qualifies as complete binary tree because all levels are completely filled and even last level is completely filled. But this is not a complete binary tree because here we have one, two, three, four levels. And this level one and two are complete, but level three is not complete. And it's also not the last level. Only last level is not allowed to be complete. It can be complete or may not be complete. So these two are valid examples. One practical example is a binary heap. Uh, where also this same property holds and all the levels are filled except the last level and the last level is as left as possible. So if you see another example that I'm drawing in red, which is very similar to the second example. This has same number of nodes and even same number of nodes at all the levels. But still, this is not a complete binary tree because only at the last level it can be non filled, which is the case here. But it should be as left as possible. And it, this is not as left as possible, but this is. So all the three are to the left. Here we have a gap in between. So this is the definition of complete binary tree. Next is perfect binary tree. So this is the, in real sense, complete at all the levels. All the internal nodes have two children. All the leaves are at the same level. So here the first property is holding. If you compare this tree, which is full binary tree, all internal nodes have two children. But all the leaves are not at same level. These two are at level four. This is at level three. This is at level two. So, uh, perfect binary tree, all leaves should be at the same level. This is additional constraint. So in this case, you will get a complete kind of a structure like this. So here we have just two levels, all levels are full. All the leaves are at level two, that is last level, similarly here. So here height is two, here height is three. And if height of this tree is h, then number of nodes will be two raised to the power h minus one. Because if height is 1, then number of nodes is 1. If height is 2, then we will double the previous level. So 2 more. Then if we have 1 more level, then again double the previous layer, which is 4. So if you keep adding these, 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus 2 cube. And if you have height h, then h minus 1, then this sum of this geometric progression becomes 2 raised to the power h minus 1 divided by common difference which is 2 minus 1. This becomes 1, so 2 raised to the power h minus 1. 
and this is the best case scenario for a binary tree if it's perfect binary tree then the uh, search time can be perfectly logarithmic if these are ordered now next is balanced binary tree so the definition of balanced binary tree is that the height should be order of log n not exactly log n but order of log n and there are many examples of balanced binary trees for example abl tree red black tree we also have two four tree but those are not binary so each of them have some property some uh, constraint which keeps the tree uh, balanced in some level for example in abl tree the max difference between left and right this is number of nodes in left subtree and right subtree is 1 so if you have a tree like this it's an abl tree because left subtree has 0 nodes right subtree has 0 nodes if you have this this is still a, an abl tree and a balanced binary tree because left subtree of 1 has 1 and right subtree has 0 so difference is 1 and this should be this property should hold for every node not just root node and but if you add this at level 3 this is perfect because for 3 both are 0 so here it's ok for 2 also it's fine left has 1 right has 0 so difference is 1 which is acceptable so here also it's fine but at this node 1 you see left has 2 subtrees 2 nodes and right right subtree has 0 nodes so difference is 2 so it's violated here similarly if you add a node here then it becomes abl tree and let's say if you have a node here then this property holds here 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 but it violates at 2 2's left has 2 uh, nodes but right subtree has 0 nodes so this is how it makes sure that the tree is not skewed in any one direction and it keeps it balanced and its height is of the order of log n. We will see more of this later when we study ABL, tree, ABL trees. Similarly, red black tree has another property that uh, we have red or black nodes. So either red node or a black node. I cannot draw black here because the background is black. And there are certain more constraints that all the leaves should have same black depth. That is the path from root to that leaf should have same number of black nodes. Similarly, there should not be two red nodes, consecutive two red nodes, but there can be two consecutive black nodes. So these are the different properties which keep them balanced. Now let's look at another tree which is degenerate tree. So here every internal node has just one child. So it will look like a linear structure, very similar to linked list. So at every node, one of the child is missing. Only left or right is present. And uh, performance wise, it looks very similar to linked list. So four nodes, four levels. Here also four nodes, four levels. Number of levels is number of nodes. So search time will be of the order of n.